Welcome back everybody. So I got something cool to show you. Today I want to introduce something which I've been working on, which isn't quite ready, but this can go as the first part. So recently a model called Cos XL came out. We took a little look at it in a previous video. And I've been checking out the merge abilities in Comfort UI. So I'm going to put together a like merge collection. Like I've been doing lately, I've just put out a whole bunch of workflows rather than like dripping them out. Um, so this will be in the pack. So I want to introduce it. Um, it's going to be called COSXL Converter. Now, COSXL Converter does exactly that. It converts your SDXL checkpoint fine tune into a COSXL fine tune. So I got some examples. Um, this is basically the workflow. So let's just take a quick look. Uh, if I take it from the back, this is the merge preview. This is the base preview. This is the target, so the donor model preview. And then this is the COS XL preview. And the reason we've got all of them, let's just go full screen. The reason we've got all of them is because we want to be able to compare the outputs when we're doing our merge. So by default, the save checkpoint is off because obviously it's going to make like six gigabytes every time you run the workflow otherwise. So when you're happy with your merge, go ahead and unmute it, save it, and it will appear in output checkpoints for you to rename. So if I go here, so obviously this is just going to concatenate the label and actually generate the preview. And we're doing the same thing. So this is COS Excel's output. All right. There would be the real viz output. And then here would be the base output. All right. And then the idea is we can look at what we would have got with no training, look at what we would have got from the prompt with our fine tune that we're targeting, and then look at what we get from COS Excel without any, you know, extra data, and then a merge of the two. And as I said, when you're happy with it, go ahead and save it. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is you can mess about with the Sigma Max and the Sigma Min. Now, I leave these alone because I find that these are good settings. And certainly, you don't need to touch the actual blocks. But you could, you could play around with it, but you need to really know what you're doing. So, here we are. Look, here we go. I've left the notes in because this is based on a default workflow for Comfort UI. A lot of the new stuff gets buried. So what I like to do is take a look at it, repurpose it. And as I say, what I've done is I've added some sort of comforts here. So what it's done is it's got a label COS XL, label SDXL base, and a label donor. Now you can change that to real viz or juggernaut or whatever it is you want to play with. But um it's just going to use it for the for the previews. So like when you look at the images in the folder, There'll be a folder called COS Excel Converter, I think it is. Let me just check. Output COS Excel Merger. So if I go into COS Excel Merger, and then I can see all of my um, outputs, and they're labeled, look, base, that's the base, that's the donor, that's real viz. The numbers might go off if you do a lot of different things different uh mergers but you just clear the folder out when you're done with it um but like i said it's named for convenience I'm sending it all through here so it goes into the custom goes into the custom folder and then it adds the name that you gave it and off it goes simple stuff so this this is cool and like you said this will convert any checkpoint into a cos excel checkpoint but what I wanted to do is go a little bit further because now we've introduced this idea, uh, we can go ahead and learn how to merge our LORAs into a checkpoint too. So let's just quickly look at the actual logic here because it's really simple, really. As it says here, it's just like you make an in-painting model. So we go COS XL minus XDXL plus other checkpoint. And if we actually look at it, it's saying here's COS XL and we're going to load it as clip one and model one. And we're subtracting clip. So then we're going to take the base. It's going to subtract the base from COS XL, right? 
that minus that, that minus that. So then what we're left with is whatever Cosnex cell is when you take away the base. And then, of course, if we come along and take real viz, which obviously includes the base plus its own fine tuning, we're then going to shove that together with Cosnex cell with this UNet block pattern. We're going to cover merging in much more detail. I'm kind of like halfway through the video on that, but it's quite long, so I'm going to break it up into pieces. And this one felt like a nice intro for the pack. So the first one to come up will be the Cosnex cell converter. I think it's worthy of its own page, uh, but it'll be part of a larger pack on merging that will come next time. But before we finish up, finish off for today, I thought I'd uh, show you up what I've done here. So this is the Laura version, also going to be on the page and in the pack. And this is basically the exact same thing, but it's been set up so that it will load my Laura. On do, 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 do right, so I've got it loading not the true world for SDXL. If I go up to the top, there's my Laura stack. So I've applied it with a stack for every single one, nice and simple. Otherwise, that's unchanged. And this is what I got for my Laura loading with Cos XL. And uh, these are pretty good actually. All right, but it lacks some of the training that you would get from Real Viz, which I really like the look of. Some of the small details in that. So, and obviously the base is the base. It's still pretty good, but as you can see, it's not as sharp and there's some weird stuff going on, like giant people walking on the water. Um, if we go to the merge of the two, this is much, much better. So it's like, this is like an easy side grade. So if you have a particular set of Lauras or a particular checkpoint that you like, COSXL gives you a true white to black color range. So it's, more than likely going to get you better contrast at the very least. Uh, so it's always worth giving it a try because it takes seconds. Like I said, once you've found yourself a nice uh, mix with your Laura loaded and all, go ahead and save the checkpoint merge. And once you've done that, rename it again. Uh, you don't have to move them though. You can leave them right there. So they're in outputs checkpoints, which is a little bit different. Output checkpoints. They go in there. And as you can see, my Cosreal Viz XL came in at 6.7. And with my LoRa, it's like 5 kilobytes bigger. So, but like I said, the LoRa is just a patch on the weights. So, but anyway, as you can see, it did the job. It's given me a really nice rendering of the Rock House style, which I trained into Not True World. And hopefully that's going to come in handy later down the line. But we're building towards something cool for the animation stuff. So next up is going to be my slow version of um, looped motion. So I've created a really slow loop motion. It takes like 45 minutes, but it looks nice. So I'm going to be presenting that next. Okay, and here we go with the Cos XL rendering. Uh, it lacks a bit of fine detail, but it's got really good range. You can see it's trying to do my thing, but it's sort of like, oh my God, look at that shadow. It's so dark. Um, and then as the, with the real, real Viz XL, there's a little bit more knowledge, I think, when it comes to textures, cloud, all that kind of stuff. So I obviously want that in my mix. And then just to sort of give a baseline, we've got the, the base, like what, what would have got I had, had I just left it alone and just used the base. And then obviously, finally, we're going to get our merged images, which should pop in. There we go. And they've come in quite nice, actually. Like I said, it's, it's very strange. It's almost like photographic in parts, but then watercolor in others, which I kind of like. But anyway, that is, if I can actually scroll out. So that's the workflow, how to use it and uh, how to make the most of it. You can then just load your models like you normally would. So if I just go into a load checkpoint like this and you will find them in the list, just hit refresh. And there they are. Cosreal Viz XL and Cosreal Viz XL, not the true world. And you could actually continue. Now be careful 
because obviously just merging and merging and merging to make sure you're actually making an improvement to the model there's no no sense in just merging forever you can make it worse and also you do want to do more than just test one prompt so i'm just doing this for demonstration just to be sure but uh it's, it's pretty reliable so people have been merging for years almost so yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one